What is up guys, Rick Akis here and I have a bunch of new exotic armor to bring you today. So, I made an exotic weapons and armor overview video going over all of the exotic armor and weapons I knew about at the time. Now since that time, more armor has been coming out. So, people have decided to post screenshots of the loot they've got finally, or Bungie themselves has re have released videos, official videos, that have featured new exotic armor. So we're going over all of the new releases, all of the new armor that has been kind of revealed to the public since I made the kind of just overview video going over everything we knew about at the time so I'm sure you don't give a shit about that you want to see the armor so let's go over it right now so the first piece of armor we have is the heart of the praxic fire now the abilities from this going from left to right are firstly attunement and type 2 coating now attunement is this armor is attuned to your light and grants bonuses to your abilities now the type 2 coating is basically so that if you buy a uh, type 2 uh, micro material shader you can change the color of this armor pretty much all of the armors are gonna have attunement and type 2 coating so from here on in we're basically just gonna skip right to the next ability now the next ability for the heart of praxic fire is fusion rifle ammo increases the amount of fusion rifle ammunition you can carry now to the right of that we have upgrade a straight upgrade to the armors defense now next to that we have heavy weapon ammo increases the amount of heavy weapon ammo you can carry Yes, please. That is the number one complaint I have about heavy weapons, that they never have ammo. Now, next to that, we have Praise the Sun. Now, what this does is further decreases all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active. And next to that, we finally, we have a lock-in mechanic where you lock in your choices with this armor, and you get a straight upgrade to defense again. Now the next chest piece we have is the Crest of Alpha Lupi, or Lupi, I guess, I don't know. Um, now the abilities for this is, firstly, does have t attunement and type 2 coating, as usual. Next to that we have Special Weapon Ammo, increases the amount of Special Weapon Ammunition you can carry. So no matter if it's a shotgun, a fusion rifle, a snipe rifle, it will increase the ammunition all of those can carry in reserve. Now next we have another upgrade to the weapons, uh, sorry, the armor's defense. Now, to the right of that, we have hand cannon ammo. Increases the amount of hand cannon ammunition you can carry. To the right of that, we have keeper of the pack. You revive fallen teammates faster, and they revive you faster. Your super also spawns additional orbs for teammates. Amazing ability, and pretty much game-changing. And to the right of that, lastly, we have another uh, up uh, lock-in mechanic. The next chess piece we have is the Armamentarium. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So the abilities for this are, firstly, Attunement and Type 2 Coding as usual. Now next we have Special Weapon Ammo. After that we have Upgrade. After that we have Heavy Weapon Ammo. And lastly we have Grenade Booster. Carry an additional grenade. So you're going to be able to throw two grenades at once, which again, no other class, no other, nothing else I know of allows you, aside from just recharging faster, to allows you to double your grenade count. So this is a pretty amazing armor piece right here. Now moving into helmets, the first thing we got is the Achylophage Symbiote. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I'm probably not, but let's go over its abilities. Firstly, as usual, attunement type 2 coding. Now, next to that is fastball, increases grenade throw distance. Next to that, we have upgrade. To the right of that, we have ashes to asset, replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. Pretty damn skippy. Now, next to that, we have last man standing, golden gun gains one additional shot per use. Now, if that's available on multiplayer, that is a game changer right there. And finally, we have Lock In. Now, the next helmet we have is the Apothesis Veil. Now, the abilities of this are Attunement Coating. Next to that, we have Serpent's Tail. Causing damage with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown. To the right of that, we have Upgrade. To the right of that, we have Infusion. Replenishes health each time you pick up an orb of light. To the right of that we have private reserves immediately regenerate health on activating your super. That is a really really useful ability. And lastly lock in. 
Now the final helmet we have is the Helm of Innermost Light. Now this was actually, sorry, Inmost Light. Now this was actually featured in one of the Destiny videos, the Titan level 29 gameplay. Now if you're confused about how to get to level 29, motes of light or light as a statistic for armor, just uh, in the description of the video is a video that I made explaining all of that because it is very, very confusing and kind of annoying that uh, Bungie hasn't come out themselves and said how the hell this leveling system really works. Now, going over this helmet, first we have attunement. Next, we have rain blows increases melee attack speed. Now, next to that, we have upgrade. Next, we have invigoration reduces melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb of light. And we have recklessness provides death from above and headstrong for fists of havoc. So you're providing two different abilities for your Fist of Havoc super, which is pretty cool. Not even sure what the hell Dust for Above or Headstrong is, but I assume it's pretty cool. Now this helmet is unique because after that ability we have Lock-In as usual, but then beyond Lock-In there are two more abilities. There is Ascend, which you can use rare materials to increase this helmet's defense, and then f under that, there's actually an unknown skill. I don't know what it is. I wasn't able to find a source on it. If you do know what it is, please leave it in the comment section. The last piece of armor we have is Young Ahamakra's Spine. I guess that's maybe how you pronounce it. Sorry for the potato quality picture, but this is the only one that's been released at the time. Now, first we have attunement type decoding as usual. Next, we have special weapon loader increases the reload speed of all special weapons. Next, that we have upgrade. Now, to the right of that, we have ashes asset replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. And lastly, we have improved trip mine grenade. So, trip mine grenades last longer when placed. And finally, the lock in feature. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more Destiny content. And as always, have a good day.